Hello, my dear students. Uh, my dear students, today we will in lecture number sixty-two. of chapter 5 of NCRT moving charts sorry uh, magnetism and matter this was a quote of this chapter okay today's lecture will start uh, with the comparison of equation for electric and magnetic field okay my dear students and the name of this topic it is called the electrostatic analog actually the comparison of equation for electric and magnetic field was found very uh, uh, similar you can say okay by replacement of some uh, source uh, uh, and uh, the constant okay so uh, electrostatic analog was introduced in NCRT. It is we will distinguish here the one side electrostatic here the electrostatic quantities and here electromagnetic. electromagnetic quantities okay my dear student here in electrostatic we have started our chapter with the electric field and here we will study about the magnetic field the first electric field if we are writing here in this section of electrostatic if it is electric field electric field which is represented by E then we use the SI unit it was Newton per Coulomb and here the magnetic field we have used unit Tesla and it was represented by a symbol B all right and the unit was Tesla as it is Newton per Coulomb we have started our chapter in electrostatic with a charge Q what the charge as this Q as charge is working in electrostatic here pole strength will work it means in the formula if you will replace this charge by M that is Q by M you will see the formulas or the equations are very similar it M was pole strength pole strength all right the next one if you will compare uh, the electrostatic constant it was electrostatic constant named K here the electromagnetic constant electromagnetic constant it is also k but its value here k 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught and here k mu naught by 4 pi you can see this k inversely proportional to the epsilon naught k directly proportional to the epsilon naught in both the equations 1 by 4 k is constant here the epsilon naught it was absolute permittivity of the medium okay and here the mu naught it was the absolute permeability this epsilon naught will decide how many electric field lines cross through any medium and this mu naught decide how many magnetic field lines cross through any medium okay both actually permit the electric field lines to cross through it its value it was 9 into 10 to the power 9 and its value was 10 to the power 
actually i am talking about this value not the upsilon not my dear students be careful i am talking about this value here 10 to power minus 7 that is mu naught by 4 pi it is 10 to power minus 7 and here 1 by 4 pi epsilon 9 times 10 to the power 9 okay uh, then after we studied the force between two charges if it is q1 and q2 separated by some distance in same way here we'll have the two poles actually the pole of the magnet it is m it is m and separated by distance r the force between these two charge and force between these two pole we can introduce here the electrostatic force it is k that is 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q1 q2 by r square it follow the inverse square law and here also you can write the force as mu naught by 4 pi you can see we have replaced this constant here in magnetic and we know that q will be replaced by m so it is m1 m2 by r square again i'm telling you this m is pole strength not the mass okay now if we compare the field we know that if any charge placed inside electric field uniform electric field it experiences some force okay and that force was f is equals to q times e in similar way here the force will be it is in electrostatic and in magnetic this will be the q will be replaced by m e will be replaced by b okay so this is the force you can see my dear students uh, it very similar thus both the topic if you are having the great command over this electrostatic analog then might be the number of formula you will recall you don't need to remember very much formulas okay okay here few more quantities we are having in electrostatic let me draw here the line In electrostatic, if we know that the electric field it was E represented by 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q by R square. And here the magnetic field it is mu naught by 4 pi Q will be replaced by M by R square. Okay. Now the next analog. Suppose the two charges. 1 plus q and 1 minus q that is the dipole it is separated by 2l here all the magnets itself are dipole the pole strength m okay this is the north pole and this is the south pole separated by again the length 2l okay then here we study the dipole moment p which is the vector quantity it was q into 2l here the dipole moment this is the electric dipole moment and this is the magnetic dipole moment m equals to q will be replaced by m times 2 l again now we have studied the direction my dear students hope you remember the negative to positive direction give the direction of dipole moment and here from south to north gives the direction of dipole moment we have studied the negative will be considered as the south over here remember this is not a great fact but for consideration for remembrance i told you the concept this south will be considered the negative and this north will be considered the positive all right yes it means if you will place a magnet in uniform magnetic field north pole will try to move along the magnetic field i hope you understand now then after we study the magnetic field due to dipole at the axial and equatorial at axial we have studied 2 kp by xq okay in same way b axial we can write here 2 k and p it is the dipole moment and here the dipole moment is m so the m divided by xq and E equatorial, we have studied Kp by Xq and here B at equatorial, it will be Km by Xq. You can see how much similarity in this two formula. Okay. Now, 
then after we study about the torque okay so the torque we have studied it was tau is equals to p cross e all right here the tau will be when you will place a magnetic dipole it will experience a torque it is p will be replaced by m and e will be replaced by b okay now the potential energy if we will keep a dipole electric dipole or magnetic dipole in uniform electric or magnetic field if it is putting in a uniform electric field it is putting in uniform magnetic field then they store potential energy all right and that potential energy here the electrostatic potential energy minus p cross e and this potential energy that is by the magnet it is minus p will be replaced by m dot B. Okay, my dear student. Yes, in this way you can remember the number of formula of these two chapters. I hope you understand this electrostatic analog, my dear students. Now, next we will study the earth magnetism, which is the very important. Okay, let me write this. The earth magnetism. Okay, give the heading, my dear students, the earth magnetism. We know that Earth itself is a natural giant magnet. From our childhood, we have studied the Earth magnetism. All right? Yeah. My dear students, the magnetic field of Earth is a consider, do you know, uh, from where? I hope that you will have the curiosity from where this magnetic field or the uh, uh, earth behaves like a magnet. When we keep a bar magnet at any point on the surface of the earth, it starts aligning, okay, and aligned itself to a particular direction. And in this way, we have uh, found a magnetic needle if it is pointed towards north and south. All right. Yes, actually the magnetic field of earth, my dear students, the consider due to the convection current, I have discussed already, it is due to the convection current by movement of metallic, uh, you can say by the fluids, okay, metallic fluids inside metallic fluids, mostly the molten iron and uh, nickel in outer core of the earth. From there, we got the magnetic field of the earth, okay. Uh, Actually, the magnetic field lines of Earth resemble, okay, resemble that of a magnetic uh, dipole located at center of the Earth. You can say the magnetic field lines uh, itself resemble in a way, in a such way, in such a way that uh, uh, you can say a magnetic dipole, it is aligned in the Earth at its center and you can study that uh, a dipole inside the earth uh, the axis of dipole actually does not coincides with the axis of rotation of the earth all right but uh, you can say presently uh, tilted by some angle might be in uh, future what will happen we don't know but uh, till now it uh, was uh, found that it is tilted by 11 point Three dB. Okay, it is eleven point three. Now, uh, we'll try to understand the quantities. Okay, uh, by this diagram. This is our Earth. This is a beautiful Earth. You can see, and this is the axis of rotation, my dear student. This is the axis of rotation. All right yes and this one is the geographic equator you can say if you will cut the earth if you're having a ball you will cut horizontally then you will get a plane that is the geographic equator it is called this one it's called geographic equator Okay, it is geographic equator. But it is also found that when we keep a magnet towards the earth's surface, 
okay toward the earth surface if you are taking a bar magnet toward the earth surface as we move to the surface it bend it bend and it bend to and it finally align in this way at certain angle in this way in this way it has been aligned at certain angle so it was considered remember it has no great fact but it's only the consideration it was studied as a magnet inside the earth at its center in this way okay of north pole aligned over here i have been painted and the magnetic field lines represented looks like this way right yes you can see my dear students these are the magnetic field lines aligned the magnetic field lines enter at this end and exit from this end now if magnetic field entering remember there is some angle between uh, this alignment if magnetic field lines entering at this point then you can say this is the north pole of the magnet we are representing here for the magnet okay north pole of the magnet but what we found actually when we keep a magnet it align at here it means and is south pole it means this is the magnetic north of the earth so it was considered the magnetic north m n representing the magnetic north and this one is considered as the magnetic south okay it is magnetic south if it is magnetic south and magnetic north it means this is the geometric north and this is the geometric south all right because north can interact towards the, the south okay my dear friends and according to this magnet which align in this direction inside the magnet we consider of this plane was considered as let me draw a plane perpendicular to this magnet also okay this plane was considered as it is the equator but which type of equator magnetic equator because we found the magnetic field of this earth in this way so this was considered the magnetic equator you can say the magnetic equator is tilted magnetic e equator it is tilted with 11.3 with respect to the geographic equator okay my dear students the magnitude of earth remember always okay the magnitude of earth Uh, for this particular diagram you can write in your copy my dear students the axis of dipole this dipole actually inside the earth due to the molten uh, iron or nickel or uh, the due to the convection current the magnetic field was formed it is supposed to be a magnet inside the earth the mag the axis of the dipole does not coincides with the axis of rotation this is the axis of rotation and it does not coincide actually it is tilted at certain angle does not uh coincides with the axis of rotation of the earth but presently right now okay till now it is tilted by 11.3 okay with the axis of rotation this is the axis of rotation let me write here axis of rotation of earth all right yes it is tilted by 11.3 you can write here this angle it is nothing but 11.3 okay 11.3 now one more thing you should remember the magnetic field of the earth which was a study it is the magnet magnitude of that magnetic field at the earth surface is about 4 times 10 to the power minus 5 tesla remember always it is 4 times 10 to the power minus 5 tesla this is a fact you should remember my dear students okay now 
we will proceed for the component of earth magnetic field what are the basic components of earth magnetic field okay so give the heading components of earth magnetic field all right yes components of earth magnetic field basically to specify the magnetism or the magnetic field of the earth we use three basic components okay one it is the declination that we will deal in very detail declination declination it is represented by d the second it is the angle of dip or angle of inclination okay and the third one it is the horizontal component of the earth magnetic field using these three quantities okay these three components you can specify all the things about the earth magnetic field we will study one by one but before that we are going to study about the meridian okay what is the geographic meridian what is the magnetic meridian etc so let me rub this one so the first uh, let me explain you the magnetic meridian okay so the magnetic meridian my dear students suppose you are having a sphere okay a sphere and this sphere is considered as the earth okay and this earth is rotating about its axis like this way this is rotating from west to east in this way okay it is rotating this is the west and this is the east it is rotating in this way about this axis okay so this is the north pole you can you can see this point okay this point of the earth will rotate this will point this of this point of the earth will rotate faster this will be a little slower and this will be in static state actually this point which remain in a static state it is called pole of the earth and this particular point it is called the north pole and this is the south pole okay this is the pole of the earth you can say the magnetic north and magnetic south we have mentioned here it was mentioned in the diagram magnetic north and magnetic south all right so this two pole that is the magnetic north and south you will use to cut out uh, maintaining this magnetic north and south in uh, this way okay so you will find your a uh, space a uh, plane and that plane that plane or the space it is considered as the meridian but which type of meridian this is the magnetic meridian okay my dear students so remember this is called the magnetic meridian now geographic meridian if you want to find the meridian of any point okay if you want if you want to find any point suppose this is the earth and you want to find the meridian of the patna okay patna so you will find over the globe where is the patna you will meet this patna and this north pole and the south pole and then you will make a plane and you will cut out if you will cut out this plane you will find this was like this way and this was like at certain angle so this is called the geographic meridian this is the geographic meridian and this one is the magnetic meridian my dear students the actually the geographic north pole and magnetic north pole it is tilted by some angle all right so if you will cut if you will cut the earth if this is your earth okay if you will cut a plane like this way and you know that a uh, magnetic pole it is tilted by some angle and if you will cut another plane like this way it is tilted by some angle then you will find a uh, angle between these two and this angle between these two meridian okay we will uh, signify a quantity and that quantity is called the declination we will try to draw this diagram more perfect look at here so the first quantity uh, to explain here let me draw a diagram i'm trying to explain you because this is 3d consideration i might 
have some trouble but I could be able to explain you okay this uh, particular this is the North Pole and here this is the South Pole making this north and south I have been cut out here a meridian and this is our geographic meridian okay this is geographic meridian let me write here okay geographic meridian now try to find out the magnetic meridian so the magnetic meridian it is at certain angle geographic meridian we have found at uh, a particular place way and this is the magnetic meridian not very good great diagram you can see here the two are declined at certain angle and this is called this one is considered as the declination actually the magnetic field geographic and magnetic it is declined by some angle and this is called declination angle of declination or simply the declination the angle of declination it is the angle between you can uh, understand this is the angle between two meridian actually this one is the magnetic meridian it is magnetic meridian so my dear students this d is the angle between the two meridian one it is the magnetic meridian and second one is the geographic meridian so you can write if you will try to understand this meridian using another diagram then you can specify in this way it is also mentioned in NCRT suppose okay yes like this way okay if this is the point this is a particular point at the earth's surface then this and this one is representing this one is representing one direction this is the magnetic earth magnetic field net earth magnetic field be then this be will have two component one component it is this will have the two component one component along this horizontal direction and one component it is in vertical direction this is the two component here the vertical and this is uh, vertical and this is the horizontal the angle made with this horizontal component this is called the bh the horizontal one and this is called the b v that is the vertical component okay its component it is made an angle with the horizontal one this is called angle of inclination or the theta remember this theta is called angle of inclination what is the angle of inclination with the horizontal and remember this horizontal is nothing but the equator equator of the earth remember my dear students so this bh it is the horizontal component and this is the net magnetic field if you will draw the earth you will find the earth in this shape okay so at any point on the earth if this is the net magnetic field this is the net magnetic field 
okay and this is the horizontal component and this is the vertical component it is represented by b h and this is b v okay then this theta is called remember this theta is called angle of inclination or angle of deep actually what we are representing here try to understand we are representing here this plane look at here this plane this plane let me use my red marker you will be able to understand more perfectly this plane is nothing but the meridian okay and this plane is also a meridian look at here yes this one is magnetic meridian and this one is geographic meridian so the angle between these two meridian it is called the angle of declination this can be written as d okay and this is the net magnetic field be we have written here and this component of be along this axis it is the component of this be along this axis it is the horizontal component and this is the vertical component this entire explains the earth's magnetic field okay you can write here my dear student be B E it is net earth magnetic field okay this B is B H it is horizontal component you can say and B V it is vertical component vertical component all right and what is this theta it is the angle of deep angle of deep and this d is called angle of declination with which the magnetic meridian and geographic meridian is decline itself okay my dear students so uh, i think uh, our lecture it is uh, getting longer in next class my dear students i will uh, specify the three component and then we will study few more uh, elements of earth magnetic field or the magnetism okay but remember to describe the magnetic field of earth at any point on the surface of the earth we need three quantities okay that is called the three elements or the component in examination you will ask to write the three components of earth magnetic field then you will write three components it is the declination or the angle of declination and the second one is the angle of deep okay angle of deep or angle of inclination and the third one is the horizontal component so one by one we will cover up all the three components in next lecture Okay, my dear students, so this is all about today's lecture. Thank you very much.